really like talking about the breasts. Right? Okay. No, I mean it. I'm really fond of them. Uh huh. Not too big. Not too small. Just a nice round breast. All right, okay. And firmness. Somewhere between a water balloon and a Nerf ball. It's important. I had a dream the other night, completely naked, barefoot, <coughs> walking through this huge field of breasts. And uh, what'd you do? I fell down a lot. Do you suppose Mayor McCheese gets much of the hot sex? Who? Mayor McCheese. Yeah. yeah. How do you figure? He's the mayor. Yeah, but he's got a big freakish head full of soggy meat. Girls like meat. And he's the mayor and celebrity. Celebrity? A celebrity. No, you know, you ever we watch sex. Steve Buscemi. Okay, dude? Yeah, he's a pretty ugly guy. You suppose anybody ever goes up to him and just takes a bite out of his face? <laughs> Steve Buscemi? <laughs> no, Mayor McCheese. I mean, he's a big cheeseburger. You suppose anybody ever goes up to him and just Take a bite out of him? No, I don't. Why? Dude, he's the mayor. Okay. What are you reading? Crossword. You're reading the crossword? Doing the crossword. Why are you not writing anything down? Doing it in my head. In your head? Pretty hard. Why are you doing it in your head? Because I lost my pen then. You get another pen. I don't have another pen. You borrow somebody else's pen. I like my pen. I can buy a new pen. <laughs> That's a lot of trouble to go through for a little crossword puzzle, okay? So you lost your pen. That's right. Now you're going to go your entire life without writing anything down? No. It's going to be pretty hard, but I think I'll be able to handle it. You know what we need, Kai? Girlfriend stuff. Yep. <laughs> No rings? No apparent male accompaniment? <laughs> and for lunch? I believe she has selected the McNuggets. It's a solid menu choice. Young lady. You're here. You know, I was thinking, if women could spend just a half an hour in the male brain, just a half an hour, they never speak to us again. <laughs> <laughs> they don't talk to us now. That's not us, I mean all men. They finally figure out that half the male brain is constantly masturbating. <laughs> it's not like we can help it, it's nature. That's photosynthesis. Completely independent of our higher brain activity. <laughs> it's not just your land construction workers of the world. It's all men. It's everybody. Albert Einstein's probably thinking, E equals MC, I want to wear your ass for a hat square. <laughs> Couldn't help it. He's a guy. Okay. Damn Skippy. You know, my dad's always saying when he gets reincarnated, he wants to come back as a woman's bicycle seat. <laughs> some issues he needs to work out. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me. Mm. Yeah, 
Ten to ten. My ten? No. Ask your team tomorrow. It's not my ten. Dude, work with me here. Okay, even if it was my ten, I can't borrow something that's already mine. Duh. Think. Think. Dude, it's not about the pen! An in, huh? Okay. Bingo. It's a high difficulty maneuver there, folks. Opportunity's knocking, my friend. You need a pen. She has a pen. She has a pen. Couldn't be more perfect. Where do you go, Doctor? Me? Yeah, you. I don't need, I don't need a pen. Take off your watch. What? Take off your watch. Why? So you can ask what time it is. Why don't you ask her what time it is? I'm not wearing a watch. That's the point, Duff. Shut up, Ty. <laughs> Look, if you want to talk to her so bad, why do you want me to go talk to her first? You'll be my facilitator. Facilitator. Yeah, you know, break the ice. Go up, say, damn, that's a cool pen. Pens are cool. I like pens, and then I step in. I had a pen once, you know, set me up. Like a warm-up band. Like a warm-up band, huh? Yeah. No. <laughs> Just go talk to her. What? Just go talk to her. Yeah, you're real brave and somebody else's neck is on the line. <laughs> what neck? There's no neck here. This is a neck-free situation. Just go over there say hi. No problem. It's not hard. Me. You. Go over there. No, no problem. Without an in? Without an in. She, she's going to say no. And, and then where does that leave me? Standing in the middle of McDonald's? Penless? I know. I know. Watchless? It's really sad. And completely emasculated. Okay. <clears throat> Fifty bucks. What? It's yours. Fifty dollars. You go over there, say hi. She says, No thanks, I have a boyfriend. Eat Mason die, freak boy. <laughs> okay? If she shoots you down, you know? Which she will. There's fifty dollars in it for you. Okay? How about that? Where are you gonna get 50 bucks? I don't know, I'll sell a kidney. Oh God, jeez. What if she says yes? That's you win a cookie, I don't care. <laughs> Just go over there, 50 bucks. 50. I can't. Why? Well, it, it, it's... Because. 50? American dollars. Fifty. Fifty. And all I have to do is go over there and say hello. Say hello. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. What's that supposed to mean? You don't think I can go over there and introduce myself to a woman? Uh, you know, I'll have you know that I'm very good at making conversations. I've had, I've, I've talked to many, many women in my life. Many women. There was one, there was the checkout cashier, and then there was the waitress the other day. That's not fun. You had the phone the other day? Remember? That was the telemarketer. You liked her. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. Who's the one? Who's the one? Why is that? You always talk to your cashier. Your mom. Oh, uh, right? <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to sit here and be mocked. I'm gonna go over there. You're gonna go yeah, over there? Yeah, you know what? You're gonna be sorry. Just watch. I'm so, so watch sorry me. already. I'm watching you. Just watch. I'm, I'm paying all this attention to you. Stupid chair that you love to
comments and shit. You know what I really like, Ty? Breast stuff? Yep. <laughs>